What's going on everybody and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the most creamy and cheesy potato bake. And this recipe has delicious flavor and texture from the creamy and soft potatoes and an awesome cheese crust on top. It's really easy to make and the best part about it is you can chuck it in the oven and put a timer on and then go and do something else around the house. Let's start off by preheating our oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit on fan forced. Here I have 1.2 kilograms of red desiree potatoes. I'm just going to peel these. And for this recipe, I recommend using a starchy potato as they absorb more moisture than waxy potatoes. Once they are all peeled, we'll just discard off the scraps. Then for the next step, we're just going to really thinly slice these. A little tip is you can cut the edge off just like that, and then you can place that down just so it sits flat. And then we just come through and thinly slice. And then when you get to this part, just lay it flat and just cut across. So once they're done, I'm just going to add these to a large bowl. Here I have one brown onion. I'm just going to take both ends off. Cut it in half. And then just peel the skin off. And you can save the onion skins for a stock. Then I'm just going to come through and really thinly slice this. So we'll then add this to the bowl of the potatoes. Then we're just going to thinly slice three cloves of garlic. And then add this to the bowl. Then to this, we're going to add one teaspoon of whole grain mustard. One teaspoon of Dijon mustard. And 600 milliliters of full fat cream. I'm going to give this about 10 cracks of black pepper. And one and a half teaspoons of sea salt. And here I have some food safety gloves. I'm just going to mix all of this around. Make sure all of the potatoes are nice and coated. You might find some stuck together. Then pop that aside. Then in a roasting pan or a casserole dish, here I have some unsalted butter. I'm just going to rub that on the bottom and the sides. And this is just to grease it up, just so it's easier to get out at the end. So then once that's done, we'll pour in our potato mix. I'm not going to pour the whole lot in, as you'll see why in a sec. Push that down nice and firmly. Then with the remaining potatoes, I'm just going to come across and evenly place them down. And then firmly press all of that down. And then just with the remaining mixture, of the cream and onions. Just scrape that in there. And just lightly spread all that out. And 
And with some kitchen cloth, I'm just going to wipe off any little drips that we've made. You don't want to leave these on there because they'll just burn. Then once that's done, we're just going to cover this with some aluminium foil. And place this in our preheated oven. We're now going to bake this in the oven for one hour. Then after the one hour, we'll take the foil off, add some cheese and chuck it back in. Then after one hour, Take this out of the oven, carefully remove the foil. Then I'm going to add one cup of tasty cheese. Carefully spread that around. And half a cup of grated Parmesan. Then going to pop this back into the oven. And we're going to bake this for another 30 minutes. And during this time, the cheese will go nice and golden brown and that sauce will really thicken up. Then after the 30 minutes, that looks awesome. Let's cut this open and see our result. The smell coming up of this is just absolutely fantastic. Beautiful and golden on the top, nice and creamy and soft in the center, and that's what we're after. And obviously the biggest test is to see how it tastes. The mustard has great flavor, the onions bring great texture, and the potatoes are nice and soft, nice and creamy, and that cheese on top just tops it all off. I'd recommend eating this straight away, but you can put it in a fridge where it will last four days, or put it into an airtight container and chuck it in the freezer, and there it will last four months. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I was able to teach you something. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button down below as it really helps my videos and my channel grow. And if you'd like to see more, just hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notification next to it so you never miss when I upload. I post three videos a week with recipes, tips, tricks and secrets. I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.